You made it. <laughs> Not yet. I didn't. I still have to make it all the way back. Oh. Well, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, I think it's a little sunny. What do you think? All right, where the heck is my jacket? Well, this is where you left it. It's got to be here someplace. Why did I just drive, you know? Why? Because I wouldn't let you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you see, you see, exercise is the best cure for a hangover. <sighs> but the best way to torture someone with a hangover is to make them do a little exercise, so... You're some friend, you know that? Ah That's right, some friend! Does this look familiar? Thank you. <sighs> so, um, you never told me. What were you, uh, doing at the beach last night? I went for a walk. Were you, uh, alone? I mean, you left the bar without saying a word, and you're gone for quite some time. Okay, uh, Michelle, I think you, uh, shook the buttons right off that sucker. <sighs> okay. You might as well hear from me instead of some other source. I came here last night with Ben. So what's all the secrecy about? Big deal. You and Ben, so what? Wait a minute. You and Ben? Thank you. Remind me why we can't start every single day like this. Because I've been exiled, remember? Yes, I remember. <laughs> it's just it seems unfair, you know? You can't be here and Philip. Oh, still has I'm just some having myself a happy moment here, Sorry. please. Don't you ever get tired of this whole separation thing? Of course it's not. It's not. It's not the way I wanted it at all. Well, I think that we are dangerously close to winning. You do. Oh yes, I do. Hmm. Why do you say that? I'm sure I can get that person to go away. Let's ignore them. <laughs> Obviously, they're not going to go away. Here, keep yourself warm. Hope it's not my father. Oh, flowers. When did you order flowers? Oh. Hi, Harley. Did I catch you at a bad time? Best family appetite, Bauer Barbecue. What the hell year was that? The year everybody got <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> It would have to do. I think that should stay here. You think? You can too, you know. You don't have to move out right now. Mm. No. No, we agreed last night that the best thing was for me to... Well, uh, no, but I'm saying that you don't, you don't have to do it immediately. You could just stay here until you get your place set up. I think the sooner I find one and, and move the kids out, the better. It's going to be a pretty hard adjustment, and uh, I don't want to drag it out. It's a good point. Okay. So. Hey, you guys wanted to see me? Yeah, honey. So... Come on in. <laughs> What's this? Mom, you're not going away again, are you? Lizzie, uh, sit down. This is something bad, isn't it? There's really no easy way to say this, so I'm just going to say it. Your father and I are splitting up. What? This does not mean that we don't love each other, and it's not because we're angry about anything. Not at all. Well, then, I don't understand why. I... There, there have been... A lot of changes in the last year for both your father and me, and we just felt that it was time to go our own way. Okay, so, um, so, so what happens now? I'm 
going to move out of the house and you and James are going to come with me. No. No. No way. Falling asleep. No, Don't. Was was there somebody in here last night when I came in, or was I dreaming that? Doesn't matter. I'm just glad you're still here to watch over me. Well, you know, it's the least I could do, considering I was the one who put you here. Don't remind me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of please, this. Please, please, darling, don't. Don't apologize anymore. What, what's done is done. And besides, I didn't die. I'm not dead yet. Did you at least get some sleep? Well, I got a little, but I had a pretty terrible dream. I dreamed I, I was at my funeral in my casket. Oh, well, uh... I was dead, yet I could hear everything. I could hear muted voices, laughter. Then I saw these two people come to the edge of my casket. It was you and Philip, oh. and you had a very satisfied look, look on your face. It was, it was a dream. It was a dream. Please try and forget it. What if I did die? Alan, you're not going to die. I know, but what if I did? Would you go straight to Philip as if I didn't, didn't exist? I need to know. I'm not going to be with Philip. I'm going to be where I was all last night with you. How do I know that's true? Because it's where I was last night. I mean, you're sick, you're in bed. I could have been off doing anything I wanted. Mm -hmm. With Philip? Oh, Alan, please. With Philip, with anyone else. Look, Philip is with Beth, where he belongs, and I'm here. Where you belong? I'm with the man who loves me. Careful, my heart. <laughs> Try and get some rest, okay? I need to go home and shower and change. <laughs> you will come back, though, right? Yeah, as soon as I can. That stupid diary, isn't it? What? This this breakup, this split, whatever you guys are calling it. I don't know. I mean, you did all these crazy things as Lorelei, right? And and now that the story's on everybody's coffee table, it, it's ruined Liz everything. Lizzie, that's not the reason we're breaking up. It really isn't. There are just times when two people realize that it's just not right for them to be together anymore. Well, how would you know? You you just got back together. Oh, sweetheart, no, your don't sweetheart me. Lizzie. I, I mean, I I feel so stupid. I mean, I've been through this a zillion times already, right? I I should have known it wasn't going to work out again. Lizzie, don't don't do this. Don't. You guys always get involved with people you shouldn't be with, both of you. Well, honey. Your mom and I may not have always made the best choices in partners. And we know that that's hurt you and your brother. But that is not an excuse for you to be hurtful. Or to be reckless. Reckless? Oh, what is this? This is going to be about me taking Cassie's ring now? 
But is that why we have lawyers working for us, Dad? Because of my recklessness? Elizabeth, that's enough. We're all hurting right now. But we have to get through this without, without becoming resentful or, or blaming each other. And, and we can do that if we do it together. Well, as a family, great. As a family, yes. Because no matter what happens with us, that's what we still are. Yeah, a family that lives in two different places. Oh, honey. You're right. We have been through a lot of hard times. And there have been a lot of changes, maybe too many. But let me tell you something. The one thing that has never changed is how much your mom and I love you. And that will never change, no matter where we are or who we're with. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck with us. Was this like a, a, a more than friends type deal? I mean, a, a party on the beach for two, perhaps? Uh, I'm just asking. I noticed that. Ben, was there kissing involved? Okay. Kissing and, and then some? Keep what are we talking on about? Keep like here? this. You're not going to be riding that bike home because you're going to be buried in the sand up here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You don't have to tell me a thing, okay? Like what Basie got to. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. It's going to. See, now that's going to leave a mark. Like that mark there on your oh, neck. Is that from Ben Reed? I, I'm really glad that you're so amused by this. I just, I, Michelle, I find that quite strange. But what I really don't understand is never mind a beach. You and I were all alone on Mystic Island, and I think the only time you looked at me was when you were talking about the, the surprising splendors of spaghetti. We're friends, remember? Friends, that's right. Like you and Ben were friends. Careful. So I don't understand. Ben! Yeah. So what, like a couple drinks, some hot music, and then what? It oh, just... Okay, for your information, nothing happened. Nothing much major happened. Major? Really? Because it sounds like you were good to go. I was. I was, actually, but I came to my senses, thank God. Ben! Can I ask you a question? Like... <sighs> Why Ben? What would you mean? Because <laughs> as opposed to you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. If I had asked you, would you have, would you have done it? <laughs> of course not. Oh, see, I rest my case. Never. No, see, because I am your friend. You're not even divorced yet. See, I, I would never take advantage of you like that. Yeah, never. but that's what I wanted. I wanted to be taken advantage of. I wanted it to be my idea. Ay, 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 ay. I think maybe you had a few too many drinks. So what? So I did. I wanted to have fun, you know? Look at... Look at Ben. He does whatever he wants without ever thinking of the consequences. And I wanted to be like that. I wanted... I wanted to be like... anyone but Michelle Bauer. Michelle Bauer Santos. So this is really about Danny, isn't it? No. No, it used to be. But not anymore. Now it's about... It's about what's next. Eden, Eden, Eden. What brings you here? <laughs> Come with some more stories about your brother? It's about walking your flowers? What, 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 what's going on? When you didn't come back to the motel last night, I figured you were here, and I was thinking about the meeting. And, you know, I, I never meant to hurt Harley. I just wanted to stay out of jail. And I'm sorry for what I did. That's what these are for. How thoughtful. I know it must be tough being a mother of all these children with all these different men, and I just, I, I don't want to make it worse for you. A little late for that. <laughs> well, maybe next time. Hey, is, is Jude's dad mad at you? <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, I know my brother has, you know, weird taste in girlfriends, but I, I, I was thinking about your son, and I was thinking, you know, maybe it is better just to go along for the ride. I know a ride you can go along for. Right back to your motel, so we can get dressed, of course. Oh, no, wait, wait, hold up, now wait. Come on. Um, you know what? 
This is what we're going to do. You stay down here and, and have a smoke and a coffee. Okay. And, and, and you can do it outside. And we're going to get dressed like, uh, you know, human, being, human beings. And we're going to all hash this out together in a minute, okay? Sounds good. No, it's okay. Come on. Let me ask you something. If I murdered your sister, would you still love me? <sighs> <laughs> Hey. Oh, thanks. So, you regret any of the choices that you made? I regret how some of them turned out. Except for Robbie, because he was the best thing that's ever happened to me. What about Danny? I loved Danny, you know? I still do. I still love him. You just feel like you missed something along the way? Peace got left out that you want back? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How'd you know? <laughs> Beth said something like that the other day. Do you think that that's why Lorelai was such a wild woman? Because Beth was trying to make up for lost time? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know the psychology behind it. As long as she, as long as she wants to be with me again, you know? <laughs> she really made an impression on you. No, it's, it's just we had one hell of a good time, that's all. You know, I just like a little more of that, I guess. So then your advice to me would be to go find a younger guy with a wild streak and no responsibilities. <sighs> well, whatever Jeez. works for you, honey. <laughs> So then I should have gone for Ben last night, huh? Well, or maybe even you on Mystic Island. Well, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, there they are, the morning bikers. Hey. Rick. Hey. Hi, I didn't I think you'd be back till this afternoon. Wow, you look great. Well, that's what rehab's for, honey. Welcome back. Hey, Bill. You're looking good. Thank you. How you doing? I'm doing all right, doing all right. Uh, but listen, I got a roll. I'm meeting my dad over at Towers for breakfast. Um, but will you do me a favor? Yes. Will you hang in there? I will. All right. Thank you. Take care of this okay. one, all right? I'm going to grab my helmet. Get out of your way. Good seeing you again. Yeah, take care. See you later. I'm going to get us a suite at Towers, and we can stay there until we find something a little more permanent. I'm not going. Lizzie. I'm not going anywhere with her. Grandpa Allen's in the hospital, and, and this is when you decide you want to go and move into a hotel? I mean, don't, don't you care about him at all? Lizzie, Lizzie, wait. Beth, it's okay. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. She's, 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 her go. Uh, she's upset. She's, it's... Of course she is. And she's angry, and she's confused, and she has every right to be. We just have to give her some time. Great time to uproot her and make her start a whole new life, huh? She'll get used to the idea. Goodness, you sound like you've got a cold. We can't have two Spalding sick at the same time. Grandpa, hi. How are you? Well, I'm feeling much better, thank you. Uh, listen, uh, can you tell me, is, is your mother there? Um, Grandpa, I don't really think she can come to the phone right now. <laughs> She's a little bit busy <laughs> packing to leave the house. What? She and Daddy broke up. Can you believe that? Before they even got started again. I'm, Grandpa, I'm so mad at her, at both of them. Well, of course you are. This is terrible, darling. Listen, have you seen Olivia? No. Are you sure? It's very important. I haven't seen her, Grandpa. Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Oh, I feel as if Lizzie hates me. Oh, Beth, she doesn't hate you. She's a teenager. 
Exactly. Teenagers either love or they hate everything. Mm -hmm. When they're not bored. There's no easy way to do this. I just want everyone to be okay. Are you okay? No. But I will be. I'm just tired. Uh, I need a little time to let everything sink. Don't worry about me. As long as you promise not to worry about me. Sorry. Thank you. For everything. If you need anything. I got here as soon as I could. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. Your message said something about a medical emergency. That's right. We have to create a crisis. What? Yes, they, they believe that I had a heart attack. Now we have to convince them that I am at death's door. So put your thinking cap on, doctor. I gotta tell you, this is so nice. I haven't been here for so long. Well, we can come back tomorrow if you want. Yeah, it sounds good to me. I tell you, rehab's been... There's no place like home. But you had a good checkup? Yeah. Yeah, they said I'm in great shape. So are Mel and Jude. And and when's Mel's um, reinstatement hearing? Next week. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So when are we going to talk about the elephant in the room? Dad told you about Danny. Yeah. He mentioned it to me this morning. I'm so sorry, Michelle. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm coping brilliantly, you know? What are you doing? Denial, grief, more denial. You know, I'm going through all the stages. Right. I even started my binge eating. Oh, and I got drunk last night. Oh, you did? Yeah. Are we past that stage now? Yeah, I think it was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. The headache pretty much guarantees it. Come here. <laughs> I don't want you to worry about facing all of this alone with your son. Okay? You got Dad, you got Mel, and especially Big Brother to help you through this, okay? And you got your friends like, uh, like Bill. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, speaking of Robbie, uh, I gotta go home to him. <laughs> it's, I'm too wheeling and I gotta go now. Okay. Are you gonna come home before your checkup? Uh, you know, it's such a nice day, I'm just gonna hang out here for a while. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later. Michelle. It's gonna be okay. Thanks. Hello. Guess who's back in town? As a matter of fact, uh, I'm at the beach. Where are you? Well, the beach is much better. Why don't you come by and say hello? See you in a little bit. <coughs> um, Gus is still in the shower, but it's fine. It'll give us a chance to, you know, talk. Talk about what? Shoes, boys. How about you? Hey, it's my favorite subject. Eden, you realize when you told the arbitrator that Gus was the one who pushed that guy off the roof in Chicago? You realize that costs me custody of my son, don't you? 
I didn't do it for that. I was trying to keep myself out of jail. Still, you sold me out. You sold out Gus. All for yourself. Look, it killed me what I had to do to Nikki. But I, what do I owe you? What do I owe your son, huh? Nothing. I mean, what did you ever do for me? Except drag me down to this nothing town in handcuffs and then get me this close to going to prison. You know, after that, my heart was just, you know, overflowing with gratitude. So much for the earlier apology. Why are you really here? To see if you're really as stupid as I think you are. Oh, am I? <laughs> More. You know, you think that I'm the cause of all your problems when it's your fault. You keep sucking Nikki back into your life, no matter how much trouble it's going to cause you. That's very stupid. Well, I happen to love your brother. Join the club. I'm the founder. Yeah. Kinky. <laughs> yeah, sex in the morning is really nice, but, you know, there's other things that Nikki should be doing in his life that are much more important. Like he used to. Like what? Besides, what happens when you get bored with him and say bye-bye? You think Nikki's just gonna shrug it off and then go back to doing the important things in his life? No. The longer he's with you and gets more hooked in, the harder he's gonna fight to get you back. And the more he'll ignore you, right? I am his sister. I am not a notch in his bedpost. I have waited half my life to get him back to where we are right now. Do you think... Hey, there you guys are. What's going on? Eden was just leaving. Better say goodbye. Wait, 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 what happened? What happened? He's had another cardiac arrest. Please wait outside. He's back. I'm sorry you had to see that. Is he, is he out of danger? Hardly. Two heart attacks in the span of four days does not bode well. Oh, you said he could have another one? Possibly one he won't survive. C can I see you? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Helen. your wish. Philip and Beth are stronger than ever. I have another wish that hasn't come true. But you could change that, Olivia. <laughs> I'm so glad you called. It's, it. it's good to see you. You yeah, look thanks, good. Buddy. You look strong. <sighs> Miss you. Laughs have been uh, few and far between without you around. I, know. I, I heard about your father, Carol, and I, I know he's in the hospital and suffered a heart attack. I mean, how's he doing? Not very well. How are you doing? I guess I'm doing okay, considering I'm the one that put him there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on. Just, it's just stupid. So. I just still can't believe it happened. It's just, uh, insanity. Okay, uh, is this time for the Spalding rant, or you just... You want to start from the beginning? I'm sure I know where the beginning is. <clears throat> Alan, uh, 
Alan gave Olivia a pair of earrings that uh, he had put a bug into them. He was spying on her. Great. Mm -hmm. That's been to Alan. Yeah. So yeah. when she found out, she told me about it, and uh, we decided it'd be a good idea to give him an earful. Give the old man some payback. Mm -hmm. Which there he deserved, go. which he had coming. <laughs> Driving me nuts, you know, how I can't leave anybody alone. So we did. We, we set up a little act for him. We made it sound as though we were having a hot, steamy affair. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Stupid. Very stupid. But we did it, and he bought it, and he came charging through the door, fit to be tied, caught us in a clinch, and keeled over. Does Beth know about this? Yeah. And? Uh, she's moving out today. What? Why? Why would she leave you over some stupid prank? It wasn't just a prank. What do you mean? Well, it started out as a joke, just a way to get back at Alan. But by the time he came through the door, Olivia and I weren't pretending anymore. What we were doing and feeling was pretty damn real. I want you to stay away from Harley, all right? I will if you will. No, I'm serious. If you if you want to help make this right, I want you to stay clear until she at least gets her son back. What, do you really think that Philip Spalding is going to give back her kid? Well, I'm going to make sure that he does. So it's the sister versus the notch on the bedpost, huh? Yeah, right. Oh, great. She brings flowers. She leaves her purse. What a gal. I better get that. Hi, this is Eden. Who am I speaking to? Ripley. Hi, Ripley. How's business? You tell me. What happened with Tierney? You did make contact with him. Uh, yeah, I did. But what happened was he got cold feet and he, and he bailed before I could get anywhere. <sighs> Not good. I've got another assignment. If you think you can handle it. No, I do. I do. Thanks. Um, but but uh, don't don't reach me on the cell phone anymore, okay? I've got another number for you. So, what's with the bag? I'm uh, moving out of the Spalding Mansion. I'm going to be staying here for a while. Really? And why is that? I really don't want to go into it. With me, you mean? I just need some time to think. Hmm. Fine. <sighs> now you got more time to do it. Are you absolutely sure about this? Rick, we tried. Nobody was ever more convinced than they could just pick up where they left off than Beth and I were. We had, we had the kids, we had history, we love each other. Do you still? Yeah. We do, but it's not enough anymore. You know, you, sometimes you're with somebody and you, you go through so much together and you cause each other so much pain. After a while, you're just numb. You know, I'm, I'm tired. I, I just, I don't want to say it, but I'm just sorry that you guys are both going through this. I know. I am too. Well, it's uh, it's an end of an era. Yeah. Hmm. What? Well, I was just wondering about Olivia. What about her? She's with my father. I understand that part of it. The question is, do you want Olivia to be with you? Come closer.
told you that I would never, <coughs> I would never ask you to marry me again. Next time, you would have to ask me. But... <coughs> Alan, somebody help. <laughs> I, I'm not going to make you get on this cold hospital floor, Olivia. But I want to tell you that I, I might be dying. Don't say that. But it's true. I might be. And I, I want to make sure that you are taken care of and have everything that you want. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. For precautionary measure, just in case you're wrong. I love you. I love you and I will ask you again will you will you marry me yes I need to stop marry you Spencer wants to rule an empire. Oh, really? But she's about to be ruled out. Joan Collins returns to television as Alexandra Spaulding. Won't they be surprised to see me? Only on Guiding Light on CBS, the number one daytime network. This has been Guiding Light.